For the most part, we, we, we service and maintain motorcycles. Uh, pretty much every brand. Pretty much, not every brand. Um, what we like to do is doing the, uh, the old school restorations. Um, 1972, you know, uh, Honda, we're doing a restoration on. Uh, we've got a 77 Yamaha, we're doing a restoration on. Uh, old Harleys, old Hondas, anything like that. We really love doing it. Simplicity. Simplicity is a key thing. They're easier to work on. Uh, a lot of them have a unique sound to them that you don't get with modern bikes. Um, you know, a lot of the modern day bikes that you buy today, they sound all alike. Um, the old Hondas, the old Yamahas, the old Harleys, you get a unique sound per bike. You can tell what it is half a mile down the road. When someone gives us a bike and says, use your own judgment, be creative. You know, do what you feel is right. That's what makes it cool. And like this one, we did a few things to it, and the, and the customer was just kind of caught off guard, and he says, well, I wasn't expecting it, but go for it. So, if things go right, two months, it's kind of like you see on TV, where they bust it out in a half hour episode, you know. Um, it, it takes about two months to, uh, to do it. That's if everything goes right. A lot of the, uh, the hardest part about this is finding the old parts. Um, Finding replacement parts, seals, gaskets, you know, cables, you know, just, just finding a lot of the uh, the parts that will need replaced because these bikes are 40 plus years old and they stopped making parts for them 30 years ago. We, we search Australia, Britain, China, everywhere. Canada, Mexico. That's the most satisfying part, is, is just hearing the bike run. It's not even as much seeing the customer's face when they when they finally get it back, but it's just knowing that uh, we were able to take several pieces of metal and wire and make it into something, you know, that, that runs. We can do what the factory intended to do 40 years ago, 50 years ago. 